What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, my name's Liam. Um, I cover a wide range of e-commerce videos um, and kind of show you how I run my daily e-commerce activities, how I make money online um, and how you can too. Have you have seen my last video where I talk about the business that I founded on Etsy, e-commerce print and demand business where I've now made over $1.7 million this year alone. Um, and I was speaking about how I was doing my product research and finding that individual product to sell um, and you know, kind of talking about the step-by-step -step process and what I took um, and how you could replicate that for yourself. Um, so yeah, today's video is gonna be me going through Etsy um, on the platform, showing you how I do my product research. Um, I guess it's the first step that you really need to look at. And this video is hopefully gonna be able to give you enough information that you can go away today, uh, find yourself a product that's selling on Etsy, know where to look and know how to find different products so you can re replicate it in the future. Um, and then you can go away and apply it to your brand, start selling your own products online so yeah before we get started with this video i'm just going to ask you please hit that like button it would be great to get more views on these videos get people seeing how to do this for themselves and uh then they can really kick off 2021 the new year with some serious e-commerce research tactics under their belt yeah so hit that like button and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and without further ado we'll get on with the video so yeah as mentioned before Etsy is a really good platform to find products that are selling and are doing really well because they give you a wide array of information on individual sellers. So you can actually go on the platform, find a seller that's actually selling the products, find a seller that's actually making sales on a daily basis, find a seller that's got good reviews. You can actually read their reviews and see the products that the people are talking about. So you can see you know, what products are in demand. Um, and that gives you a really good idea on what products are hot and what products are not. You can then go and cherry pick all the best products that you find and just test them. You know, Etsy is a platform, a selling platform within itself. So you don't have to go away and start creating these big websites and you know creating a really fancy Facebook marketing campaign uh, just to get it all set up and started. So Etsy is a really good starting point. I would definitely recommend starting there and then transitioning into uh, a Shopify store or a ClickFunnels landing page um, to eventually scale up and sell your products. But that's not saying Etsy isn't capable of handling large order quantities. Um, I just like having more control on my own platform where I can reduce the fees that I pay. You know, if you can find a product that's working on Etsy, test it, get it working for yourself on Etsy, and then move it away to your own platform and really create a brand out of that, that's the best way going forward. And that's exactly what I've done. Um, so we're gonna jump into my computer today and I'm kind of gonna give you a walk through step-by-step -step process on how I find these products how I find uh, stores that are selling, and then ultimately how I then decide what products I want to sell. So yeah, let's jump on that now. So as you can see, we'll head over to Etsy.com, and those of you that don't know much about Etsy, it's sort of a handmade, handcrafted website that has like a, a wider range of different products. You know, you've got people that are selling desks and making them out of wood. Uh, you got people that are doing print on demand. You got people that are selling jewelry. Um, yeah, there's loads. Of, there's loads of different sort of products people are selling, but you know, there's even people drop shipping and that sort of thing. Now, there's, there's ways around everything on Etsy, um, but they do prefer the sort of handmade and sort of crafty products. Um, if we look at furniture, so I'm going to keep it really simple. Let's go on to. Uh, posters so as you can see there are 1.8 million results with ads uh, on Etsy that from people that are currently selling posters now if we click through um, on let's go on dog portrait a custom dog portrait for from your photo digital file printed poster or frame poster now this product's selling for £36.75. Um, oh, and that's just the starting price. So here you can see they're selling digital file only for £36.75. The poster for, for £78.75. Um, different prices here. Framed. Okay, cool. So as we can see, they're getting sales. They've got reviews coming through 23rd of December. 28th of December, 15th of December, 16th of December, and it looks like people are buying this product. You know, we can see here they've got 299 sales, 
we can go through, we can click on their profile here. And it looks like they only specialize in this really simple format of poster. Now, this would be really easy to replicate. It doesn't look like they put any sort of crazy filter on there. They just cut the picture out of the person, uh, put it on. Okay, so they have got some sort of special effect, some sort of Photoshop filter. But um, again, I'll show you how you can, you can do this yourself. But um, just for example, you know, it's really simple. They, they take the image, it's uploaded on the checkout at Etsy um, from the customer who wants to add their dog or their child or their loved one. Um, and then it looks like they just add their name, which is also left at the checkout. Add your personalization. Uh, please enter the name to include at the top. So you take all of that information from the customer themselves so yeah, this is definitely a product you could replicate. When did they start? They've been on Etsy since 2020. Now obviously it's a lot better looking at Etsy profiles, you know, earlier on in the year so you can kind of see if there's a store that's absolutely blown up and they're sending so many products and you can see that it says, you know, started in 2021. You know that they've started within a few months and they really blown up their store quickly. So that product they're selling is really, really hot. Now, Looking at this, you can still assume, you know, making 300 sales at uh, around 36 pounds 75. Now let's calculate this quickly. Uh, 36 pounds 75 at a minimum times 299. So, you know, this store has made somewhere in the region of, you know, 11,000 pound, um, obviously before fees and before product costs, but for a starter, you know, that's pretty good. It's not too bad, you know. Just testing the product and uh, finding a product that works, that could definitely be an option and, and you can definitely go through this. Now, if you wanted to find out where you could actually get these products printed, um, you can go to the likes of Guten Print On Demand and you can get all your fulfillment done by Guten. So the products that they offer, they offer a wide range of print on demand products from posters to canvases to t-shirts. Um, I'm pretty sure they've got like coasters, mugs, pet beds, everything. So, you know, you could scale that up and instead of just doing posters, you could add it to I don't know, a mug or a pencil case or a makeup bag or, you know, acrylic prints, acrylic trays, anything like that. So all it is is taking that really simple idea of you know the dog's face or, or, or a child's face and then their name, and then you can just add that to a wide range of products. So not only do you then test what's already working like the posters, but you can then start incorporating different products into your Etsy page too, um, or your Shopify page, and, and you can just upsell them as well. Now obviously you don't have to only work on Etsy, you can jump straight into Shopify or you could jump straight into another e-commerce platform. You don't have to test out on Etsy first, but it's a really, really good way of testing because they do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You know, you can run Etsy ads. It definitely takes a large weight off of your shoulders and you can kind of just sit back and tweak the product itself and maybe make a couple of sales in the process and like refine that entire sales process in terms of taking the documentation off the client um, finding out their brief and what pictures they want and then you can refine how you then deliver that as a service um, and then once you've got that delivery stage sorted you can just replicate that and then start scaling up so if we go back over to Etsy um, we'll find another example now obviously these don't just have to be um, you know cheesy dog photos or posters we can look at other things like um, let's think Ring, ring, jewelry. Oh, I spelled jewelry wrong. Okay, so there's people that are drop shipping the products. So look at this: silver feather ring, fully adjustable raven bird ring, blah blah blah. They're just filling out these titles for sort of SEO purposes on Etsy. Um, but as you can see, they're selling it for 11.99, and they've got 24,561 sales. Now they started in. 2019, so they started last year, but you know, they've, they've almost got 25,000 orders on Etsy, um, selling pretty much drop shipped products from AliExpress. You know, all of these you can pick up on AliExpress. I'm sure we can go and find them. Let's have a look. If we look for this 
snake ring, for example. I know for a fact that that's on AliExpress. Snake ring. It's like one of the first ones that come up. It's for one dollar. There's people selling it here. 141 sold, one dollar. Um, yeah, looks pretty simple. You can order that on AliExpress. It's just a drop shipped product. Okay, so if we go back to Etsy here, we can see that this product is actually selling for 12.99. Okay, so you know they're making a solid profit on this. They're making some money here. Now it doesn't. I'm not saying here that you should be drop shipping these products. Now obviously it actually is against Etsy's terms of service, but you can kind of see that you can order these products in bulk and then flip them on Etsy. So if you're worried about getting banned or you're, you know, you just want to go straight into it because you think it's going to work, um, you can test that. You can buy five of these rings or two of these rings, get them shipped to you and then ship them directly. You're not drop shipping then, you're actually just providing a product that you have in your hands. You know, it's a physical product that you own. Um, so this is all this company's doing and they're, they're obviously making some serious money from it, you know, 25,000 orders um, and all they do is sell AliExpress jewelry. Uh, let's look at their reviews. So they have 2,000 reviews, you know, 31st of December, 29th of December, 28th of December, 28th of December. This tells me that they're selling a lot of products um, every single day uh, because, you know, a lot of people don't review, so when you start seeing reviews on the same day, you know for a fact that they're getting a very high order quantity every single day because just by the sheer amount of reviews they are getting. Um, if a store was going really slow and they weren't making too many orders, you'd expect to see reviews sort of spread out across the month and sort of few and far between. Um, but when there is a store that has a lot of reviews coming in, they're selling a lot of products. So let's look at one final example now if we look at let me, let's just type in new year's gift there you go nice and easy uh, let's see what people have got so let you see there are more hand rings being sold we just found them on aliexpress um let's let's look at print and demand things let i'll tell you what let's look at this funny mugs so i'm looking right now at people with a lot of reviews um, because then I know they would have sold a lot of mugs. Uh, let's look at this one. Personalized gifts 101. Wow, that's creative. You know, this is this is how creative people are getting online. They started on on Etsy in 2019, and they've got just under 10,000 sales. And all they sell is print on demand and really horribly designed products by the looks of it. Uh, don't be a twatipus. Keep calm and hug a beagle. Yeah, there you go. I love the crap out of you. <laughs> you get you get the idea. You know they're selling a wide range of products. They're not niching down on posters or anything like that. They're kind of gone on everything and just taken that product list on Guten or Printful or Printify, and they're just sort of filling their Etsy feed with lots of different products that they could potentially sell. Now the way Etsy works is when you're scrolling and you're looking to buy a product. Um, you get hit with lots of Etsy ads. So you can actually set up Etsy ads in the platform um, and Etsy manages that for you. They run ads on third party companies like Facebook, Google, um, obviously internally on the Etsy feed as well. Um, and then people will click through to your Etsy page via your products. Another really cool feature about Etsy is you can see here, like personalize any name and any picture pillow. It says eight people have this in their basket. You know, it actually tells you who has it in their basket, how many people are ready to buy this product, and that gives you a really good idea on what products are selling really well. Um, obviously, you can go through the reviews and see what people are buying a lot of, but that's another cool little thing to look for. You see that over 20 people have this in their basket. Uh, a very rude and provocative mug. But uh, they, they have 20 people have in their basket, so they're willing to spend $8.99 on this mug. Um, so that could be a cool product to base your store up store around and what we'll do then is we'll click the sales we will go into the reviews and we can just start seeing what people are actually buying so people are buying that mug people are buying lots of mugs it seems aprons uh towels what's that pc mouse mat pillowcases you know the mugs are really selling well here so you can take that information, go away and start a custom mug store with personalized names on, or you can kind of 
take ideas and inspiration from these designs and then go and do them yourself. Um, all of this is re really easy with Guten. So if we go back into home and living, drinkware, we'll, we'll be able to find these mugs. You know, look, you've got mugs there that are shipped directly to your customer from Guten um, for a price of $6.49. So, you know, if you're selling a mug for $15 or $16, um, you're definitely capable of sort of making a profit there and actually making money on Etsy. Um, I want to go really, really briefly into Etsy pages themselves uh, and how they're set up. Essentially, it's like owning an eBay store, right? So this is this person's page. They, you, you create a name, obviously. You create a description for yourself. But you know, there's nothing crazy. You don't need to know any coding. You don't need to be running Facebook ads. You don't need to be running a social media alongside it and trying to push loads of sales organically. Etsy kind of does it all for you. As long as you create the products, um, there is an element of SEO that goes into it in terms of you know how you structure your product listings. So having uh, strong search terms in the title and in the description of the product. Um, and ensuring that you're kind of covering keywords. It's kind of like a keyword system. When you come up in searches, that is what really pushes your products right up there. But if you don't have them keywords in place and you haven't optimized it, you can still make sales, providing your products are actually listed on Etsy. So that's, that's the main hurdle you have to get over. You actually have to list stuff on Etsy to sell stuff on Etsy. Crazy concept, right? But no, in all seriousness, it's, it's very, very simple. And I definitely want to go into a little bit more detail in the next video, um, kind of showing you the step-by-step -step process on how to set up the Etsy store, how to start running Etsy ads, um, and sort of listing your first few products. If you've liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot and it really helps me sort of grow this page and grow this account so I can actually provide more value to you guys. Um, and if you can leave any questions in the comments, I'll be sure to get back to them and answer and clear anything up that you need me to. But yeah, hopefully after today, it kind of gives you an idea on how you can go on Etsy, what to look for, how you can see stores that are selling products, how you can see stores that are actually making money selling the different products online, you know, what they're selling, how you can sell it to, um, and basically just gives you the fundamentals to go away and do it yourself. Now, obviously I don't recommend you go away and you just steal everyone's ideas, but go away, get creative, you know, try a few things. It does, there's no harm in having a store that has pillowcases, mugs, mouse mat, dog bed, dog toys, whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't have to niche down when you're first testing something out. Test it out first, see if it works, and then go back and create another store where you literally focus on that one niche and focus on that one product. Um, and then once that starts selling and once you start making money there, then you can start splitting away and creating a brand separate on a different platform you know so yeah all in all i hope this video has been valuable to you guys i hope it helps you get started on researching what products are selling on etsy um, and i'll be sure to give you some more information in up and coming videos so stay tuned for that um, but in the meantime thank you for watching and i will see you soon